Howdy folks, welcome back to Out of War. Anywhere there's green, the trees can regrow, so. We got rocks and trees back. So I'm gonna try to clear up some of this with the dozer. So maybe these trees won't respawn. Then we're gonna be hauling some coal. Yeah, these tracks are loud. I hope they balance that out in a future patch. <laughs> I have to turn the sound down like twice as much in the edit when I'm running tracks. So this road's a little rough, uh, but it works. And I, di I did uh, one load of coal and made $81,000, so that was pretty awesome. Let's get this other tree here, too. I don't know if they come back in the same spot. Change this. Just make some dirt here. Made a little uh, deflection pad there for the dirt pile. Get this back somewhat straight ish. It was just making a giant finger of dirt straight up in the air. So. I straighten that up a bit. All right, that should at least get us to where we can drive. Not be terrible. Uh, let's see, let's go, go ahead and grab these on our bar again. Stick those on, just to ease the transition a bit. And we'll start scooping some coal. So this thing uh, works pretty well. Just as designed, all the dirt goes off to the side there, and we get just coal in the truck. And when I get full enough, I just move the truck a little bit. This coal seam is pretty deep. I'm just going to kind of work my way in. And then once we get enough of a face, I might try one of the face shovels. All I dig in here is so lackey with the, uh, the wheel loader. Went with the, I think this is the 510. Just for something different. A little 501 still over at the uh, lithium mine. And the concrete cuts a little bit into the sorter there but I'm gonna I'm gonna live with it it bothers me but I'm gonna live with it there we go my dirt deflector 3000 is working great over there should uh, kick that dirt on downhill Reading more on the Discord about the dirt update. Sounded pretty cool. I won't mind having the uh, like a fill volume rather than the balls. It looks better, and if it performs better, then it's all good in my book. What it sounds like is if you have the like fill volume, I'm not sure what they're calling it, but I'm calling it fill volume because that's what it's like in Farming Simulator. If you have the fill volume option, then basically you dig and your bucket just fills up with the texture. And then you get the little balls when you dump, but then it turns back into just a, a fill level in the truck. I don't know how that'll work as far as like heaped up. 
but it works in farm sim, so. Surely I can get it to work, because I believe these guys started out as farm sim modders. So they're familiar with how that works. Alright, how are we looking? Probably another scoop or so, and we'll move the truck. Chunks fall backwards. Come on. Of course, this kind of thing is where multiplayer would shine, but multiplayer, if it ever happens, is a long ways down the road. There's a lot of challenges with multiplayer. People who haven't done programming might, ne might not necessarily think about. Uh, there's, a, there's a lot of data going on with this game. Like the terrain changing, uh, all these chunks in the bucket. If you look at this game, like everything that changes has to get sent over the wire to another computer. So if I move this bucket, that data has to get sent. You know, if there's a player in range or however you're doing it. Turn this, it has to change. The weather has to change. As I dig into the terrain here, that all has to get transmitted. So that has to get optimized so you don't just, you know, flood the network with tons of data. So certain compromises might need to be made to make multiplayer happen. I forgot to change the weather, so it's on random again. Really bad performance for some reason. Oh, I missed. <laughs> Let's ease on up here. Doesn't it like locks in place before it can fall out to the side? So the little the little chunks are cool, but I'm thinking the dirt update is going to be a really good thing. I never put any lights on this, did I? Well, let's just take a minute to do that. We need some lights. It's getting foggy. So, first of all, let's just get rid of the stuff that we don't need anymore. Keep those. Uh, so, parts, lights. I don't remember which is brighter, the work light or the power light. Get some of these. So one and two looks like one and two. Three and four. Okay, well that makes it easy. Put lights all the way across the top, and we want, or all the way across the middle. And we got five and six and eight and nine. There, yeah, that would be some good lights. And we'll throw a beacon bar up top. All right, now we can see, sort of. Was oh, it getting uh, dark? No, it's noon. It's just super uh, cloudy. Wow. Yeah, it's it's like high noon, and this is what it looks like. <laughs> uh, why are we getting so much dirt? I expected to be in the solid coal about here. I don't know what maybe it's this loader it's just so laggy scooping maybe we need to get another 501 over here 501 is probably my favorite piece of equipment I think just works 
Unless it's oh, is it all the balls resolidifying? Okay, that's finished. Now let's try dumping. Yeah, I think it was the terrain resolidifying. That seems to be a huge performance set for some reason. Alright, how are we looking over there? Eh, we probably need to move the truck again. Before we dump. Oh, and speaking of lights, I don't think I ever put lights on the truck. It has, like, lights on the model. But they don't work. I think we can get, like, one more scoop on the back here. Oops, I was already on there. Uh, work light. Vehicle options. One, two, three, four. Get some lights up high. What about some down lower? Five, six, seven, eight. Okay, well that's that's easy enough. There we go. Oh, one is in the stairwell. Oh, well. Close enough. <laughs> Probably ought to build some stairs over here. For now, we jump. Low on fuel. Yeah, I do need to get some fuel out here. Hey, the fog lifted. Yeah, let that lock in. Uh-oh. <laughs> Look at our dirt. Even with the kicker, it's still with the giant finger of dirt. Why does that? I guess it built up enough down here. Smooth that out. We used to have in those one, two, three, so. Let's try adding another layer there, so maybe it'll want to roll further down the hill. Eh, we'll keep an eye on it. Uh, yeah, that's probably uh, a pretty good load. <laughs> I don't know if all that's locked in or not, but uh, let's head on over. As you can see, we need we need some more work here on the road. The the road works, but it's it's kind of in the barely adequate category. And we're gonna lose a little bit of coal as we bounce over here. Yeah, I need to get the roller back over here where I had the dozer going. But if I stick to the edge, then it's adequate. It needs to be a little bit wider in some spots. Especially right through here. It's adequate. And I could put a dump spot right here. I may do that at some point, but for now, this is just for the uh, underground mine. That we'll probably do that next episode. Get the uh, tunneler, and we'll start tunneling in to the mountain. Do that for a bit. And then I may take a break from this for a while. I know the dirt update's coming out in a couple, three weeks. I want to get some other games in as well. But we'll see. We've still got more out of work coming, though. 
And even, you know, once season two ends, we'll definitely be back for more seasons. So, for series. Depending on which side of the pond you're on. And I want to redo this whole area here by the coal plant. I had to add those shields in. Stuff was bouncing out. But that now that kind of almost covers up where I need to dump with the big truck. We can we can make it work. You see that hauls a lot of coal. <laughs> It is the big boy truck. There we go. Got to turn my lights on. My roller get to. Smooth that out. Uh, I kind of need to take the fuel truck out and fuel up that loader. So let's go do that. Um, I did put lights on here. All right, cool. Let's see if this truck can make it out on the road. It's kind of rough out there towards the end. I think I left the roller down here by the first coal. Check that out. Whee! Probably should use the, was it M for cruise control? It's a little awkward to use, but. Yeah, there's the roller. If you hit the brakes, it doesn't kick off the cruise control. Word of caution. I think what I need to do is come along with the dozer and take off another another dozer blade width on the right. Make that road quite a bit wider. Alright, if I get up here, is this going to be close enough? Siphon fuel? Nope. Let's back up to it. I don't want to dump this in there yet because we don't have a truck under the coal. Shoot. What is the, the deal with this? There it is. You get a longer fuel hose on this thing. Wiggle back around now. Go to our map and pop right into the truck. That's a handy feature. Back out we go. So I need to get some, uh, oops. <laughs> You get some driving lessons. You get some flashy lights on this thing. Big Moon Road. Some of you will get that reference if you're old like me. This thing is massive. If you're in the cab, it's like you're driving a skyscraper. <laughs> And there's like no depth perception, so you can't really tell where you're at. I saw on the Discord track IR support will be coming at some point in the future. That's that's like on their list, so that's good to hear.
Oh, we lost one little coal chunk I see there on the ramp. Yeah, I need to do a bunch of dirt work out here. Get rid of this. This is a little awkward. We're going pretty much in the middle. Pull up about there, and the cycle continues. I forgot to look at my amount of money. But some of you could probably make note of that. When I did my test load, I think it might have been a little bigger than that. It was 81,000. So I would guess we're going to get 60 to 80,000 per load. So pretty decent payout. Of course, if we were doing this at a lithium deposit, we'd make some serious bank. Just surprised there's so much... I guess we're still not quite to the vein why there's so much dirt here. We're not quite to the solid coal vein yet. Right, let's get a little more off of here. And I'm just building an arbitrary floor here. So we can always go down another level once we get all this cleared out. Look at that view over here. Nice view. So relaxing. I'm just sitting here enjoying it. Not talking. <laughs> I don't have the gift of gab, as we call it. I mentioned before, I'm a, I'm a fairly quiet, reserved guy in real life. Unless I'm nerding out on something. So YouTube has been a, a good way for me to kind of break out of my shell. Streaming as, as well. Let's actually hop in the truck. Come on up here. Yeah, I think I might build some stairs there to make that transition a little easier. All right, let me get a little more of this cleared off. I'm gonna put some more concrete floor down. I thought the floor might be cheaper, but it's it's not. So, but I started with the floor, so we'll do floor. Floor on number four. up by hand here. Smooth it out. The floor it ha does have the advantage of it. Well, you don't have to click like the face of it. You can just go off the top, to extend it out. So that's kind of handy. So that one it looks like I misclicked on. There we go. More what we're looking for. Yeah, looks like we probably need to go this direction too. Third out of the way. And maybe one more to get lined up with the... Uh, Full seam up there. Got fuel truck. There we go. Uh oh. 
We're out of concrete floor. Concrete floor. It's not like we're hurting for money. All right, cool. Well, I'll probably run a, a little more coal, but next episode, I think what we'll do is do some underground stuff. So if we go to vehicles, underground. Um, I use this square. Should we use the round one? Like this is probably more realistic. This is so handy. <laughs> uh, should we do the uh, the round borer? I don't know how that would work out. Well, we'll use the square one because we don't really have... I mean, they make machines that have like a roller and they go up and down so it makes a square. Oh, that's not nearly as expensive as I thought it might be. There we go. We'll be using that in the next episode. Got my poor AT20 that's kind of useless. And we still got three and a half million left over. So we're doing okay in the money department. And I've got almost a load of coal ready to go again. I think I might have been a little off to the right. So let's. I mean, you could get you can get quite a load on here if you want to move the truck around a lot. So I'll do some more digging. Thanks as always for hanging out, folks. Catch you in the next episode. Take care. Beep beep. I still need. I'm still waiting on that horn so I can beep meep. Beep beep my outro. <laughs>